How important is it for uh, for customers and end users uh, to have the ability to tune their own vehicles? Um, it can really make or break the riding experience, the way you have your suspension set up. Um, and and the, all of our products can be tuned for a given um, vehicle uh, setup or train conditions or personal preferences. And it can make the difference between having a really bad day on the trail and being uncomfortable to having a fantastic day on the trail and, and really enjoying your experience. And so all of our products that we develop enable users to optimize their experience out there and really fine tune to make uh, the best day possible. Oh, it's it's really important, you know, because everybody drives differently. Everybody is in different environments. Um, it doesn't matter if you're on snow or dirt or mud. Um, again, each guy wants it to work a little bit different. So you have to tune to their likings, to how they drive a vehicle, what the vehicle is capable of doing. You're tuning it to around that, you know, and just making it work the best that you can for the environment and the rider or the driver, whoever it is, you know. I mean, for the most part, you're getting what you pay for. Mm -hmm. Bikes are incredibly expensive these days, and a huge chunk of that is suspension. So why spend all this money on this expensive piece and not have any idea to make it work up to its potential? You obviously are looking for a certain type of quality, a certain experience, and if you have just that basic ground knowledge of how these things function, you're going to be a huge step ahead of most people that, that aren't watching this stuff. It's, it doesn't take much to get quite a bit more out of it than just taking it out of the box and putting it on your bike. When I started in the motorcycle industry in my 20s, I worked for a startup and I got to work on almost every part. Um, suspension made the biggest difference on how the bike rode. And a lot of my peers thought it was black magic of uh, tuning suspension. And how do you feel that um, uh, suspension education through a, a video series can help the up and coming uh, enthusiast? The more you know, the better off you're going to be. The uh, the things you can learn and help tune your own bike is only going to make you happier, only going to have better rides for you. Us as tuners still got to keep on learning things and making it better, making how we tune, making how we get the end result better. Meaning, again, when you get in a, on a vehicle or in a vehicle, you don't want to feel a bump on the road. You want to be able to hit everything and anything and just keep on riding, you know, and not even feel anything below you. Yeah, and what's interesting is that's that's pretty much the mantra for all uh, suspension categories, right? Yeah, and for sure. Giving pretty much giving the end user permission to lay hands on their suspension. Right? Absolutely, it's not magic, you know. Once mm -hmm. you realize what's inside there, while developing the product is incredibly technically, uh, I don't know what you would say. It's a, uh, it's quite in depth and you need this knowledge mm -hmm. just realizing what those little pieces are doing and realizing that you can have a really big impact on your quality with just a few minutes of setup is a whole different thing i think fox academy will help uh, the general public um, mainly because we cover the the basics of uh, all the shocks you know the, you know it's not it's not black magic that we're we're dealing with it. It's you know as long as you have uh, the information and some of the know-how, um, it'll help people from being afraid to actually touch their shocks and start adjusting them and, and playing with them themselves. We're really trying to get people involved. We're not telling you what you should be running. We're telling you how to figure out what you should be running. That makes sense. Yeah. It's kind of more empowering people to do it for themselves mm -hmm. rather than saying, hey, you should be running 80 PSI and seven clicks. We're saying, hey, here's how you figure out what you should do.